How to Identify Figurative Language Identifying figurative language is a skill often required of students on state tests. This presentation will teach you how to identify figurative language through a series of questions brought to you by World Teach ESL, Tom Songer. When you first encounter an example of figurative language, you should ask yourself, is it a comparison between two things? If it is a comparison between two things, you should ask yourself this follow-up question. Do they use like or as to make the comparison? If they do, you know that it's a simile. If they do not, you know that it's a metaphor. However, if they are now making a comparison between two things, you should ask yourself this question. Are they exaggerating too much or too little? If it's too much, you know that they're using hyperbole. They're saying too little, you know that they're using an understatement. However, if they are not exaggerating, ask yourself this question. Is it an object or idea doing human things? If it's an object doing human things, you know that this is personification. If it's not, then perhaps it's a metaphor and you haven't looked at it thoroughly enough to consider how it's working.